Introducing... The Daredevils of Hollywood. Well, Terry, we're ready to roll. How about you? Oh, I'm all set, Mr. Foster, but what's the stunt? Well, you're to drive this heavy truck across that bridge there. Yeah. We got it rigged up so when you get halfway across, we pull the cables and collapse one side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. That dumps the truck into the river. Get the idea? Yeah. And the truck's supposed to land on the water upside down. Is that yeah, right? That's it, Terry. You got a 15-foot fall there. You think it'll turn over all right? Yeah, it ought to. Well, let's snap it. What do you say? Okay, here we go. All right, everybody. Okay, everybody. This is the take. Quiet. Okay, Jerry. Go ahead. Camera. Ready now, men. Get it. Get it. Go. <laughs> From Hollywood, the motion picture capital of the world, we bring you the thrilling true life experiences of those men behind the scenes. Those daring unsung heroes whose breathtaking adventures on the screen have thrilled millions. Whose daily jobs bring them face to face with death. Those men who comprise the strangest fraternity on earth. The Suicide Squad. The movie stuntmen. The Daredevils of Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, in bringing you this copyrighted radio feature, we are privileged to have again as our guest not a stunt man, but an ace stunt girl of the movies, Miss Ione Reed. It is through her cooperation that we are able to reenact some of the highlights of her dangerous profession. The thrilling scenes you are about to hear are her own actual experiences. Miss Ione Reed is here in the studio right now, and later in the program, we will bring her to the microphone. But first, let us dramatize for you some of her thrilling experiences. In his office, situated in the administration building of a motion picture studio, sits Lou Green, a director. He is studying a scenario that has just reached his desk. Suddenly, his attention focuses upon one particular page. His assistant, Paul Webb, is just entering. Well, Mr. Green, you look pretty interested there. Must be something good. Oh, hello, Paul. Come on in. Have a seat. I just got the final script for our new picture. Great. When do we start shooting? Next week. Say, that's fast work. What do you think of the script? It's a daisy. Some great stuff here. It won't be one of those super colossal stupendous epics, but it ought to make some entertainment. What type of picture is it? It's a western. Got some good stunt gags in it. Mm hmm. That sounds good. Dangerous stuff? Well, you know how stunts are, Paul. Sometimes when things look pretty tough, they work out okay. And sometimes when they look easy, they don't work out so well. Now, here's a stunt in this script that ought to be good. Car careens off a bridge and falls into a lake. Leading woman's supposed to be driving. Well, of course, we'll have to have a man double for it. Oh, no, not necessarily. We can get a stunt girl to do it. Oh, yeah, I know who you mean. I own Reed. Yeah, now there's a girl who hasn't turned down an assignment yet that I know of. She's plenty capable. Sure she is, and she can take care of herself, too. Yeah. Never been hurt that I know of. Now, look, Paul, stop over to the casting office and have him give I own a buzz. Might just as well get this stunt stuff lined up. Sure, Mr. Green. Uh, where's the location going to be? Sherwood Lake, north side. Okay, I'll leave a call for I own. I'll be seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> Tranquil waters of Sherwood Lake shimmer like a vast diamond in the bright California sunshine. Studio workmen have erected the location set with unbelievable swiftness, and now we find everything in its place. Cameras, lights, and other equipment stand in readiness. The director, sitting in a canvas chair, is going over final details of the scene with Ione Reed, the girl who is to face its dangers. Well, Ione, it won't be long now. We're about ready to shoot. You understand the scene all right, don't you? Well, I think so, Mr. Green. I'm supposed to drive the car onto the bridge, drive through the railing, and over into the lake. That's right. Now, at the spot where you go over the bridge, the water is only about five feet deep. That makes part of the car showing above the water. And as it falls, it's supposed to turn over and land on its side. I jump out in midair, and when the car settles, swim over to it and hang on. That's right, yes. Yeah. Uh, you're waiting for the leading man to come and rescue you. He swims out on a horse and picks you up. And then I climb on the horse and we ride into the shelf. That's right. And we don't cut the scene until the horse climbs out on the bank and gets well up into the road there. Okay, Mr. Green. But uh, how do you plan to get that horse to swim directly out to the automobile? <laughs> you know how horses are on the water. They're hard to guide. Uh, yes, well, we thought of that. Now, here's the idea. We run some piano wire from the horse's bit to the opposite bank. Oh, I see. Then the horse must follow the wire. Sure. He can't go anywhere else. Well, that ought to work out all right. And, uh, you see... Just before he comes out of the water, Jim will cut the wire. We're all set, Mr. Green. Okay, Paul. Well, I own. Are you ready? Sure, sure. Let's get it over with. All right, everybody. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's a take. Now, you know what to do, don't you, Jim? Yes, sir. 
I wait until Ione's hanging on to the car, and then I ride in and pick her up. That's right. Okay, Ione. You can get in the car and start across the bridge. We'll pan you all the way. Okay, here yeah, I go. All right, everybody, this is it. Quiet, please. It's a picture. Quiet. Okay. Camera. Well, I own's taking it plenty fast. She sure is driving that bus. She's almost to the middle of the bridge. Okay, I own. Take her over the side. There she goes. Look at that car. Headed for the rail. Now watch this. Watch your cameras. There's your ball. She cleared the car off. Right. Turn over the machine, I own. Grab hold of the car. She's got it. Hey, this is perfect so far. Yeah, beautiful job. All right, Jim. Go after her. Ride in fast and make it look good. Right. Come on, boy. Let's go. All right. Come on, boy. Just a little farther. Get set, Ione. Jenny, mount him. I'll climb on his back. Okay. Uh, take it easy, Ione. Here. Here, give me a hand. That's it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm off there. All right, boy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Boy, this horse is pretty well loaded for water work. Yeah, that wire's getting in his way, too. Come on, take it easy now, boy. That's the stuff. Say, hey, this seems a cinch, I own. Yeah, that's been so far. But we're not through yet. We're almost to the bank. He's walking on bottom now. Better cut the wire, Jim. All right, just a moment. Hey, look out there, boy. Wire's tangled up. Take it easy. Watch yourself, I own. He's yeah. going to fall. Look out, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to present the courageous young girl who made that scene, Miss Ione Reed. Miss Reed is recognized by the motion picture industry as an ace stunt girl of Hollywood. She will be interviewed by Hal Stiles. Well, Miss Reed, you were in a very uncomfortable place there, weren't you? Uncomfortable is not the word for it. That horse was right on top of me. But the worst part of it was that wire. I was all tangled up in it, and I was afraid it was about to cut me in two. <laughs> I was even afraid to budge on that account. Uh, how long do you suppose you stayed underwater? <laughs> I can't answer that. I lost all track of time under there. But I know this much. I couldn't have lasted five seconds longer. That certainly was a close call, but I suppose you've had lots of them, haven't you? Well, frankly, I have, especially with horses. They're funny sometimes. Never can tell what they're going to do. I remember once I missed death by inches. I was playing the lead in this picture. Uh, and... Just a moment, Miss Reed. Uh, before continuing, uh, let's have just a word from our sponsor. And now you were saying something about missing death by inches. How did that happen? Well, it was back in 1927, a Western picture directed by Ben Wilson. Wasn't much of a stunt. In fact, it wasn't no stunt at all. It was merely something unexpected. I was supposed to be riding a fast horse through the open country, leading a posse. There were about two dozen riders behind me, but I was well out in front. Just before we started the run, the director was telling me how he wanted it to look. Now, look, Ione, you're supposed to be riding in some distance from the lead. It's all very simple. Just make a fast run down that trail there and pass the camera. That's all there is to it. Okay, Mr. Wilson, I'm ready. Okay, start when I give you the signal. All right, everybody. Was they ready? We're going to take it. Now, watch it. There's the tank. Quiet, please. Quiet. Camera, action. See, she's going to fast horse there, Mr. Wilson. Don't say fast. She's a little nut, too. Can't tell what that horse is going to do. Look at him go. Hey, look, he's in a straight from those big rocks. Hey, that's not the direction he's supposed to go. Hold him, I own. Hold him. What's the crazy horse trying to do? Oh, he's trying to commit suicide. Head him off, man. Catch him. He can't possibly jump those rocks. He's running right smack into him. Hold that horse, I own. Jump, I own. Jump. Hit him. Look at that. He made a spot a sharp turn there right in front of that rock. What a girl. The horse turned sharp. She stood to one side of the saddle. As the rock come by, she reached out and shoved herself back up on the saddle. That's what I call quick thinking. If I had it hit that rock, it would have killed her. And I agree, Miss Reed. That certainly was quick thinking. Tell me, what do you suppose was the matter with that horse? Well, he just took the bit in his teeth, that's all. But that horse was always a little crazy. 
I never would ride him again after that. Well, you couldn't be blamed for that. I suppose you had to make that scene over again. Yeah, we did, but I used another horse for Satan times. <laughs> Some people seem to be a little skeptical about the danger involved in the making of thrilling scenes. Yeah, I know, and it's really a laugh. They don't stop to realize that if all the dangerous scenes were fake, well, there just simply wouldn't be any real thrills and kicks. Here. That's right. And the scenes couldn't possibly be as realistic without the help of people like you, who are not afraid to take a chance. <laughs> Incidentally, Miss Reed, what part of the country are you from? I'm from Wortham, Texas. Did you come directly to Hollywood from Wortham? No, I was in Dallas for four years first. I've been in Hollywood about 12 years. I see. Well, Miss Reed, I want you to know that we have certainly thrilled to your exciting experiences. We've learned a lot about the inside makings of a movie thriller. And on behalf of our listeners, we want to thank you for coming here again. I know that everyone joins me in hoping that you will pay us another visit very soon. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs> 